<laughs> okay, <laughs> welcome back, guys. So let's play Robot Soup. This is your host, Chisel Chill speaking, and we're back to continue the adventure. In the last episode, we fought what was his name, Tempest, that blue guy. And in this episode, we're gonna try to find the mem chip. Yes, that mem chip that uh, what was his name? I forgot if it's Mr. Gates. Or Dr. Gates. You know, it's a reference to Bill Gates. You know, computers and all that. But yeah, in this episode, we're gonna try to finish this place. Because this place sucks. And I hate sewers. <laughs> Anyways, how you guys been? Just recording some more episodes, and we have two more boats here. And apparently, we got caught off guard. Okay. Wow, so he's gonna die. Alright. So he died. Perfect. I think we have some revives, do we? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, does someone know revive? Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, about that. You could also fail. Alright, there we go. Yeah, you have, like, there, there's like um. There are there is three stages of a revive. The one I have is the weakest, so it's gonna fail a few times. Uh. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And we have more of these teleporting pods. And of course. Oh come on. I, okay. I, I I don't understand. I mean, I do understand why I keep failing to escape when I have over um basically <laughs> level thirty roll ponds. That's what I'm trying to say. And those roll ponds aren't even that strong. Right, I'm just gonna use my, my use my items because oh there we go, and we got a silver battery, which is probably one of the best things we could possibly get in this item in this place. And let's see if I can finish guessing. All right, so I'm gonna start safe stating, safe stating here, just in case we start to die. Oh never mind, that that wasn't really important. And we found the exit door. So let's follow this place through and see where it takes us. Uh, can we actually escape this? Right, perfect. And we have a computer and a chest. So let's see what the chest has. And it's a mem chip. A exactly what we were looking for. But wait, what's this? What are you doing? That's the mem chip. You don't have much for that. Much use for that. Why don't you just let me have it? I could buy it. You're ignorant. You're ignoring me. You know that I'm searching for that chip. Why not help me out? Still ignoring me? Oh, you'll regret making me angry. Check this out. I'll allow your role pawn the opportunity to be flattered by my ex dog. Go ex dog. Fix that man chip. And it's a boss battle with Mr. Gates. Ex dogs. Let's go. Yeah, so he has uh, some x dogs which aren't the most powerful creatures because they're in their first stage and um, in the future you're gonna see they get a bit more powerful but for now they're a joke and we're just gonna take them out one by one just like that we took out two of his x dogs and in this turn we're gonna finish it off oh that's one of those things um yeah! Wow, how lucky can you get? <laughs> since he since he used the, the first level of revive, um his X dogs are gonna have less EXP. Okay, so now he's gonna revive again. Yep. Of course. Ah uh, this time he failed. Ah <laughs> 
All right, I keep attacking and they why am I missing? What? This game hates me, and it's gonna revive. Fail. Ah. Fail. Ah ha ha. All right, so that that one is down now. And this one should be down and out too. Perfect. And like that, um, it's not too hard. We took it out with ease. And perhaps releasing X dogs was a huge mistake. What the hell is that? Even without the mem chip, I'll crush you like this lizard. I'm a genius. What the fuck? <laughs> X dog, activate your Ethernet radar. Does that mean he recovered? X dog, powered up. Powered up. <laughs> Impressed yet? The Ethernet radar is more than just a buzzword. I can pull the data right out of your mem chip without even installing it. This is the power which I, Gate, command. Fear my genius. Soon I'll be busy handling sales and cutting back to tech on tech support. But first, I'll show you something very interesting. Huh? Whoa, you just teleported, dude. I can do that too. The computer has activated something. So let's see what happens. And we're back here in um this place that I forgot the name of. <laughs> My computers are better than yours. How come nobody uses them? It's up to the people, and they've clearly chosen my computers. I think I'm gonna use some voices here. <coughs> You're up to something. Wait, that's not a game. You're up to something otherwise. I'm sure that my computers would sell. It's simple. People like waffles because they have more intense, interesting features. That may be, but my computers have more actual uses. I don't know about that. Stop being so childish. What? Arr! <sighs> Just wait. Just you wait. This will be the end. Your reign ends here. What does that mean? What are you doing? Can't you see? Microcomputers will be the wave of the future. Nobody wants a computer for graphic and sound creation programs. It's the age of networking. Computers should be made for business functions. I could disagree with that. That's where Macro comes to the scene. You'll see it all starts here. What are you doing? Oh, that's not a good sign. You know it's not good when you get red warning signs. And we see the effects by that. All running across the whole city. And the little girl watching some porn. Yeah. Oh, that little guy. That little kid also watching porn. Okay. <laughs> and... Alright. I don't know how he doesn't get any constipated or seizure with a red a red light flashing in your face. But Nintendo logic. <laughs> Soon everyone will know who I am. After tomorrow, the world will become will belong to microcomputers. Okay, that should do it. Let's go, X Dog. All right. So he apparently did the damage. Oh no. If we don't do something quickly, we'll all be dead. The fire is getting worse. We need to evacuate immediately. Come on, hurry up. This way, we don't have any time. And it looks like nothing happened. Whoa. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And we're gonna see more graphic scenes from Game Boy Advance. Technically, the RCGI cutscenes for Game Boy Advance. All the humanity. My company is all gone. No, my legacy can't end this like this. I don't want to go down in flames. <clears throat> what was Kate thinking? Oh well, as long as I have the waffle disk, I can. I forgot the waffle disk. How can I? How am I supposed to stop Kate without with it? Without it? Without the disk, waffle is finished forever. Why did this happen? There must be something that can be done, but what? Oh no, it's burning! Could this be the end of delicious waffle computers? This can't be happening, somebody help! Somebody please help! The waffle program, it has our 
source code on it. Somebody, anyone, please save the waffle program this. Waffle program this. Program waffle this. This program waffle. And he died. Rest in peace, waffle. So yeah, um, we could actually you know, go inside this dangerous scenario. But there's fire. And what was that one thing I was pointing to you guys? Um, 20 years to the past. And that was the fire extinguishers. So what we have to do now is go and get those. Obviously we gotta heal first. And we have to get those waffle thingamabobbers. Alright, and let's go back 20 years to our present time. Anyways, can we stop Mr. Gates? We're gonna have to find out right now. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, now that we have now we have a mission in our hands, and that is rescuing Mr. Waffles computers. Why? Why are we doing this though? Why? Okay, so Mr. Gate is a dick. Basically, that's the only explanation I can come up with. And let's go to Makoran and start getting those fire extinguishers. I think there's like three or four. So yeah, and here's one. There's a fire extinguisher. You got what? You got a fire extinguisher. So yeah. Wait. What? What's going on here? What are you doing? Unhand the fire extinguisher, boy. I almost think you are stealing it, aren't you? How can you sleep at night? This is a serious offense, and you will be punished. On guard. On guard. Wow, I am not good at that. On guard stuff. Unhand that now. -da -da. So he has a um, a bolt on and uh, that kid. Oh wow, he survived that attack. Oh, that's gonna make me take damage. Wait, what? Uh, I must have missed something. He didn't attack, did he? Um, I think um, that move basically stops you from attacking. Correct me if I'm wrong. And 536. Perfect. Level up. Oh! Clap. So, what happened there, guys, is we could actually exchange our, um, bold for a boulder. I'll get into that in a second. I lost on purpose. I'm sure you just didn't realize the consequences. Now that you've listened, it's not good to take someone else's things. And you just leave. Because that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, we have to go all around this, um, building trying to find fire extinguishers. Not that hard. Uh, I kind of forgot where they are, but uh, they're not that hard to find. There's one. Oh, uh, never mind. Most of them are near security guards, so try to keep an eye on that. And let's see what we can find here. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely squat. Absolutely wank squat. Uh, we got another guy. Over there. I yeah, love the soundtrack in this game. Especially the, the battle for the music man. It's too epic. And the more we you're gonna see the more we get into the game the the better the soundtrack even gets. There's a fire extinguisher. You got a fire extinguisher. And another safety guard. What's going on here? What are you doing? Unhand the fire extinguisher, boy! I almost think- Wait, are you saying the same thing? Really? Oh my god. I've never read this. That oh. They're literally saying the same thing. That's pretty sad. Oh, that took a lot of damage. And that didn't even- What? Wow. I'm starting to get pissed off when I Robocon 
when my roll pawns keep missing. For absolutely nothing. And that was pretty easy. Um, I'm nothing too hard there. I lose on purpose. I'm sure you're saying the same thing because you have no extra dialogue to talk. And the developers were not creative enough. Anyways, let's carry on, shall we? I know there's one all the way down here. And he's probably gonna say the same thing. Wee wee. Yep, yep, yep. Sleep. I sleep just fine. Especially when you got summer classes. You have to sleep. Anyways. Oh my god, that's kinda getting annoying. Oh, again? You see, this is like constant missing. Why does it keep missing? Boom. It's kind of funny, guys, because um, last week I was riding my bike and I technically failed. Failed. And fell at the same time. And I kind of got hurt. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this. I think I, I don't even remember, 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 remember if I talked about that last video, but... Um... Again, I live in the part of New York, and the Manhattan area is pretty hard to ride bikes. But funnily enough, I didn't fall there. I fell. Oh, okay, never mind. Apparently, Mr. Gate comes in. Huh? You again? Hey, wait, isn't that a fire? My fire extinguisher? What are you planning? I need a fire extinguisher for every floor. I'm supposed to just give you one because you asked for it. You battle me for it without an X stone four? I doubt it. I have important things to do, kid. Leave me alone so I can do work, or I can work. <laughs> I have a few extinguishers. Maybe I'll give you one. Here you fight, X dog. If you win, I'll give you the fire extinguisher. Well, I fight you. Don't you listen? I'm a busy man. I'm far too important to bother with this stuff. Bring an X stone. That's the only way to fight a player like me. Xbox can beat a kid like you, no problem. That's what he's for. If my proposition isn't good enough, then go away. That's good enough, because we're gonna beat your ass right now. And as you guys can see, oh shh, he has a I dash AD. Ah, nice. Dodge again. Okay, never mind. So his I dash AD is um obviously the next stage in uh, Xbox. So what we're gonna do is take it out. Oh, love it. Did we just miss? Oh, uh, that's the thing, it's annoying. Okay, we're gonna die. Perfect. Uh I've no idea what to do here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kiss Protopon. Protopon is gonna kiss <laughs> Bold. <laughs> and Bold is gonna kiss them. And Bold is gonna do a um, uh, stone. Just to do some damage on all three of them. Yeah, that's kind of decent damage. Right, so that did no damage. Basically. That did 20 damage. And that is gonna do 46 damage. Um, What can we do here? Let's uh, try another attack and uh, I have perfect he's down. So the main problem is basically down and we're gonna actually do a, a quake just to hit both of these uh, X-Dogs. Because um, apparently we like to miss a lot and we take it out. Perfect! Two, two one hit KOs. You just got combo. Headshot. Right. I've wasted enough time on all this. It's time to get back to work. Why isn't your ex dog dead? Alright. And we're gonna use the elevator because I apparently haven't done that in this series yet. So, with the fire extinguishers on hand now, 
we're gonna go back to the past and um I actually wanna show you guys like this. Oh wait, oh never mind, it doesn't have it installed. <laughs> never mind, I'm really out of talking out of my ass. Alright, uh, we're coming up short in time now, or not short on town. Why am I talking with an accent? Short on time. I meant uh, we're getting to the end of the episode and we're just gonna end it off after we go back to the past. <laughs> Creepy music. Oh yeah. Hopping. <clears throat> Alright. And with that, we're gonna leave you guys off in front of the waffle building with this sad music and happy music again and hyper and all that yeah. so let's just go through here I'm just taking you guys for a walk <laughs> I am such a bad okay anyways this guys well this guys crying still anyways this has been chisel chill we came to the end of the episode and I was gonna leave you up I can't even talk. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Um, we got the fire extinguishers, and next episode we're gonna go in the building and put out the fire to, in order to get the waffle chip back into the hands of waffle, so we can stop Mr. Gabe in 20 years. I'll see you guys then. Bye bye. Take care. This has been Chill Chill, and I sign off. Peace.